now by Dr. Michael Barak, a senior researcher at the Institute for Counterterrorism, coming to us from Reichman University in Herzliya. Thanks for joining. Look, Greek police, the Mossad, they seem to be aligned. This was a mass casualty, a sophisticated terror operation linked to Tehran. You know, how does this fit the profile of the known and really ongoing efforts by the Iranians? Uh, first of all, it's not a new, I think, uh, phenomena. The Iranian obsession to target Israelis and Jews in uh, around the world, it's not new. Which We should remember, for example, the Ira Iranian terrorist attacks against uh, the Jewish uh, center in Buenos Aires in July uh, 1904. And uh, after Israel was trying to hold and to uh, prevent the nuclear of uh, Iran, uh, Iran was uh, investing more if efforts to target Israelis and Jews. For example, in 2012, there was uh, a terrorist attack in Bugros in Bulgaria against Israelis. And in uh, two, let's say that from 2021 and to the end of 2022, there were about 13 attempts to target Jews uh, and Israelis. And uh, I should say that uh, the international community is, is also now occupied with the Russia-Ukrainian war and with the uh, ISIS, but in the same time, uh, without uh, paying uh, enough attention, Iran managed to cultivate and to uh, operate and to build a very sophisticated and uh, wide uh, network of foreign fighters, Xi, Xi foreign fighters. Look, uh, that we should pay attention that uh, those two Pakistanis that were arrested in Greece, uh, uh, this is, I think, uh, a, a new uh, shift uh, or uh, an Iranian attempt to use uh, Paki Pakistani Shi ones in order to target Israelis. Uh, in the end of uh, December, uh, in December 2022, uh, in uh, Congo, uh, the security uh, factors arrested the Shia. Uh, uh, two Pakist also Pakistani that were trying to uh, target Chabad yeah. Institute, and also in. Uh, in uh, July uh, 2022, there was an attempt of two Pakistanis that were uh, sent by Iranian uh, regime to target uh, uh, Israeli businessmen uh, in uh, Georgia. Right. So, uh, so we see how the Iran is trying to use proxies in order to fulfill its agenda against uh, Israel. Like you mentioned this, and uh, by the way, we've seen this. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this have there have been attacks, at least you know, perpetrated or at least attempted. North America, Europe, the Far East. I mean, from in right. so many countries, you know, over the last ten years, little success though for them for them to claim. You know, who do we credit the Mossad for that? I mean, this is clearly an active effort by Iran. Is this? Do we credit our intelligence agencies? Yeah. So thanks for the cooperation between the Mossad and other security factors around the world. Israel managed to uh, uh, throw, to foil these attempts, and Iran is so frustrated. So we we see that uh, this obsession uh, almost everywhere. That there are uh, sleeping cells of Iran around the world, and uh, it takes time to gather intelligence and to build an infra infrastructure in order to target uh, Israeli targets. Uh, luckily, uh, the Mossad is uh, is very aware to this. Uh, the Israeli intelligence is very good, and we should keep on uh, to monitor and to follow about uh, the evil intentions of Iran to target Israelis and Jews. Look, we talk about Israelis and Jews, and I think the word Chabad came into this. We sit now, there's Chabad centers, these religious centers, really around the world at this point. I mean, what kind of targets are we talking about here? Like in Bulgaria, Israeli tour bus, you know, Chabad religious centers. We're talking about soft targets around the world, right? Right, that, this is right, yes. Uh, Iran, it cannot uh, respond on uh, Israeli attacks in Syria against Iranian yeah. targets. So uh, she, she, it's going to the soft uh, targets like tourists, Israeli tourists. And I think that, uh, you know, that uh, the international community should be aware to that because uh, the economy of the world, for example, now in Greece, can be very damaged if uh, such an Iranian uh, terrorist attacks can be uh, successful. I hope not. But if it will be successful, uh, the economy in Greece can be damaged, and uh, Greece should follow other states like Albania, who, dis who uh, uh, dispel and uh, uh, expel expel the Iranian diplomats from the country. Uh, uh, this is the Greece and other uh, uh, national states should signal to Iran that they can they should that they are not ready to bear in mind and to tol tolerate any Iranian uh, involvement in their country. 
especially uh, terrorist ones. Uh, so th this is uh, a threat also to the global uh, economy. Absolutely. Yeah, we've seen, of seen some of that backlash in, in European countries and, and elsewhere when previous uh, thwarted uh, attacks uh, were, were revealed at least. But Dr. Michael Barak, thanks for being with us here. Uh, a lot to look into in light of the Mossad announcement. Thank you. Thank you.